book five in the children's part of the Art of a Messy House book series is due out this December. And I wanted to share why I even write these books for kids. The simple reason is we cannot tell our youth enough that they are loved, that they are known, and that they were created on and for a beautiful purpose. We do that by teaching them about God's love for them. We do that by instilling God's words and teaching God's words on their heart and just teaching them how to use what the Bible says and what God says about them in their everyday lives. When I think back on my life, I remember anxious thoughts starting as early as the age of five. I remember body image issues starting at that age too. And it may seem kind of crazy that it started so young and maybe even impossible that kids that young could think like that. But I promise you, I always promise to be authentic on here, that that is my part of my story. And really, I remember it as clearly as 35 years will paint you. But in my 30s, God set me free from anxiety and from depression and just this internal battle that I had ups and downs with for decades, but he set me free. And in that moment, I promised to never stop sharing his word, his truth, and the hope of Jesus. One day on my way to work in my 30s with my son, who was about five at that time, a the radio had, a, they were talking about a study that had just been done. And in the study, they were talking about people and children with suicidal thoughts. Now, in their study, they mentioned some of the numbers included five-year-olds. I wept. I cried. I remember feeling like this is impossible. Like, how could a five-year-old feel that way? And then I remembered my own testimony, my own story. And I remember how God brought me out of that. And I, I just felt like I could not sit here and listen to statistics like that and not do something. And so that is when I started to see what my children were, were walking through. I started to feel this prompting of the Holy Spirit that I had to do something. There was this burden on my heart that I had to be prompted to start. And so I started. And so I started writing these books because of just, I want, I wanted to end cycles and I wanted to teach my children what to do when they faced feelings of insecurity or when they faced feelings of fear, when they faced feelings and situations where people were not being kind. And in doing that, that's where the children's part of this series came. You see, I wish I had known God's words back when I was young, but now my wish has become my work. And I promise that I would continue to do his work and do this work for his glory and for his kingdom. Because really when it comes down to it, God loves us. Children need to hear that. Children need to know his word so that they can know the truth, that they can speak the truth over situations, that they can turn to the truth and know what they should do and what they should not do. And with all of that, that is a little bit about the heart behind the children's series. It is a heart that beats to turn hearts and lives and eyes to Jesus. Thank you, and I hope you'll check out book five.